Are you an incoming freshman or someone that just doesn't know what to major in yet? Well, you've come to the right place. This is Steve from College Express, and today we are going to be breaking down some of the top fields you can major in and potentially have a career in. Positions in the healthcare field consist of registered nurses, doctors, nurse practitioners, physical therapists, dietitians, and so on. Uh, just to note, nurses are the only ones that will only require a bachelor's degree. Most other roles in this field are going to need more education, preferably master's to doctorate and more, plus professional training and licensing. But on the bright side of this, there is a projected 14% growth in available jobs over the next 10 years, coming out to about 1.2 million jobs available to incoming graduates. There will always be a demand for teachers. If you're thinking about becoming a teacher, majoring in education might be a solid call for you. With only requiring a bachelor's degree, in some positions more likely for the principal to require a master's, education will be a solid choice for you to major in. And with a 5% growth over the next 10 years, coming out to about 512,000 jobs, there will be a position probably available for you there right out of school. IT fields cover a wide range of positions, anywhere from a cybersecurity analyst to software and web developers. But with coming with that, also the education will vary where only some positions may require you to have a bachelor's where others will have you go and get your master's as well. Uh, but fear not, over the next 10 years and a 12% growth in job availability, coming out to a little below 550,000 jobs, you should be all right with trying to find a position. Business is probably one of the more common fields that college students will end up majoring in just to play it safe in a sense, but not really, uh, because it also becomes one of the more competitive fields to actually try and find a job in. But with such positions as management analysts and operations managers, uh, the education that comes with it also just requires a bachelor's, but going for more such as a master's, an MBA, and so on could only benefit you in the long run. And with a growth of 7% over the next 10 years, coming out to about 590,000 jobs, there should be a position out there for you. Are you someone that likes to deal with money and numbers? Well, then the financial world might be for you. With such positions as being an accountant are available uh, and only a bachelor's degree required, the financial world might be for you, especially when they are projected to have the most jobs available annually. Have you ever wanted to design buildings and city skyscrapers? Well, then going into the architecture or engineering field might just be for you. Uh, but just keep in mind that it, most of these positions are going to require more than just a bachelor's degree and even specific licensing for more senior positions. And also expect there to be about roughly 113,000 jobs available, plus what's already out there over the next 10 years. Have you ever wanted to work with the big brands all across the world? Well, going into advertising, marketing, or promotions might be the field for you. With such careers as being an advertisement manager or a promotion coordinator, uh, you could expect to be working with these brands on the daily. And with an 8% growth in job availability over the next 10 years, uh, you might be all set. But remember this, you will be required to have a bachelor's degree and maybe even in upper roles, a master's or an MBA. Do you want to help people? Do you want to dissect what's going on inside their heads and help them figure out their problems that have been plaguing them forever? Well, going into the social services field might be for you. With such careers as being a therapist or a social worker, as well as a psychologist, uh, you can help those people figure out what's been going on and help them relieve their pains and problems to help them feel refreshed. Just to note this, that if you do want to go into this, a bachelor's degree will be required but if you want to go more into the clinical side of things, you will also be required to get your master's, uh, have two years of supervised experience in a clinical setting, and be licensed by the state. But fear not, because with an 11% growth in available jobs over the next 10 years, coming out to about 306,000, uh, you might be able to find a position that you would really want to do and make a change in the world. Do you love math? Well, there are positions out there for you, so you can continue to pursue that love for math, such as being a statistician or an economist. 
but you should know that you will be required to at least get your masters because when working with various companies, you will be analyzing large amounts of data to help them make informed business decisions. And with a 30% growth in math related jobs over the next 10 years, you shouldn't have a hard time finding a position. Did you always find that the mitochondria was the powerhouse of the cell neat or just love science in general? Well, going into a science field might be just for you with such as being a biochemist or a nuclear technician or an epidemiologist might be for you. But to note, most of these roles are going to need you to get your doctorate slash a PhD. There are a couple that you only need your bachelor's for, but the majority will require a PhD. And with a 7% increase in growth in jobs over the next 10 years, uh, you have plenty of time to get those degrees. I know they take a while. If you like this video, make sure to like and hit that subscribe button. Also, click the bell button if you want to know when the next video goes live for a notification.